I'm gonna blow your mind right here! Did you know that there are other comic book companies aside from Marvel and DC? Well, now you do, and since most of you have probably no idea who this figure is, I'm gonna give you a brief explanation. This here is Cremator. He's a character from the Lady Death comics, a series that was mostly popular in the 90s during the Bad Girls era, meaning bad attitudes and a whole lot of naked skin. Cremator is Lady Death's ever so faithful advisor, bodyguard, servant, housekeeper, etc., and also had his own miniseries named Cremator Hell's Guardian! that ran for five issues and was published by Chaos Comics. Now onto the figure. This figure line is called Dark Alliance, and it's actually Series 2 in the line, but the first series didn't interest me at all because I didn't know anything about the characters aside from Lucifer. Dark Alliance is actually a big crossover event, running for three issues before it got cancelled, but this figure is clearly based on the Hell's Guardian comics I mentioned earlier, since the torn pants and the arrows in the back matches up perfectly. Starting off with the sculpt, can you believe this figure is actually 15 years old? It was made by Art Asylum, which I now believe is simply Diamond Select, and the sculpt is fantastic. There are a few nitpicks though, he's slightly pre-post, which doesn't really bother me all that much because he's still fairly neutral. There's also some paint shading missing to outline one of his abs, but that's an easy fix. Now, what bothers me is that his left arm was broken the moment I opened the packaging. I managed to fix it, but it's still not a very good sign. I also had to shave down some plastic on his side to make the arm able to hang lower. My last issue is that I'm not too fond of the head. I hate extreme expressions on figures, and Creamator's Ninja Turtle's face is bothering me, so after this video is done, I'm probably gonna try to re-sculpt it. Moving on to articulation, he said it's a simple swivel joint with no up and down movement. Fully articulated ball jointed shoulders, single jointed elbows, and a wrist swivel. Moving down, he's got a waist swivel, fully articulated hips, single jointed knees, and single jointed feet. Now I'm gonna show you what all the holes in his back are for. On the cover of the first Creamator comic, he was in full Boromir mode, and the figure can replicate that quite well. You simply push the arrows into the little holes in his back. It's a bit of a struggle, and personally, I don't care for it at all, but it shows that Art Asylum really cared for this figure. Next up for accessories is this wicked flail that looks like it was taken straight from a 90s metal album cover. The skull is extremely well sculpted and painted and fits in his hand well. The second weapon it comes with is the Spear of Destiny, which was a pivotal weapon in this miniseries. It's nicely sculpted, and while I don't want you quoting me on this, I'm pretty sure, aside from the spearhead, I think it's actually made out of wood. It's all fairly accurate, aside from some minor differences. Believe it or not, he actually comes with another weapon, because the more the merrier! It's a comically oversized axe, and it's actually my favourite, because it's the most fitting. Lastly, he has a shield that also looks like it's from a 90s metal album cover. It's wonderfully detailed and has a thick leather strap on the back, which makes it really hard for Creamator to actually wield it. Finally, he measures in at around 19 centimeters tall, which is about 7.5 inches. Here he is with the rest of the series, including his lady. And here he is with some other comic book characters. Closing thoughts, he's a pretty solid figure. He's got great heft, good paint, and amazing detail. I'd have liked him more if it didn't break, but if he got a normal one, I'd highly recommend him. He's also the only figure of the character there is aside from this one, and since he's not even owned by the same company who does Lady Death nowadays and hasn't been featured in anything for over a decade, I can safely say that there will never be another action figure of the character. 8 out of 10.